I want to say that one of the things that a pastor's wife must avoid, kama kuna kitu unastahili ku avoid, kuacha kabisa, ni hizi maneno nitakwambia. I heard people saying, hmm? hiyo maneno lazima uache. I heard, I heard people saying, I was told by people. I heard people saying, I was told by people. Number three, people are saying, people are saying, atufanani na mchungaji people are saying i don't match up to my husband people are saying mimi ni mzee kuliko bwana yangu those they are it's nonsense i've also been told severally praise the lord aha uh -huh. everybody is saying unakuja kunaleta ate unajua mam everybody is saying let me tell you the truth it is not true huyu anakuletea ndiye anasema lakini anataka kusema ate ni everybody another thing i'm hearing ninasikia Ninasikia hii kanisa ya kwamba e, mchungaji ni kama kuna relationship na sio ni so nasikia. Hiyo maneno as a pastor's wife you must close. The last and not least is your husband was seen. Was seen with unajua yule kasichana kana kuanga pale kwa praise and worship. Eh e, unajua yule mama single mother yule yule anakujanga sana niliwaona. Those are the things as a pastor's wife because they will disturb you, they will mess your thinking, they will give you bitterness and you lose God. Praise the Lord. Anybody who comes saying people are saying, ni yeye anasema, not the people. Be wise. It's a language of the enemy. Uh -huh. We have heard to mesikia watu wakisema, ma'am, ati kanisa, ati pastor ni kama na worship devil, ati kama we unaindaga. Those things don't open a door for such things. Because what you do, what they are doing, they are messing up with your true identity.